You guys remember Craig, right? It's Craig. This is the very first time I've had a fellow YouTuber hanging out at the lean to. Look at that. I recently made a fleece sleeve for my sleeping pad. I did it for two reasons. One was to increase the R value so that I don't have to use a separate winter pad for winter. I can use the same pad all year long. And the other reason is for protecting it from sparks from a fire. Sometimes in the winter I like to sleep by fires and that makes me real nervous with an air mattress. So I figured this is an added layer of protection. It certainly won't hurt. And I did the same for my pillow. That's a lot more comfortable than sleeping on that fabric until I drool all over it and it freezes into a block of ice onto my face. It's currently 30 degrees. All right, now that I have my shelter set up, it's time to go hang out with Craig get our chit chat on, drink some beers, hang out, have some fun, catch up. Let's go check out Craig and see what he's up to. It's a pretty cute little setup you got going on here. I've recently made a buck saw out of pieces of scrap pine. This has a Baco blade, a rock climbing runner, and other than that, it was made out of scraps. This thing weighs 13.3 ounces, and this is its first time out in the field. I'm hoping that it holds up because I would really like a lightweight buck saw. That's seasoned oak. How's it going? This thing's awesome. Working, it? It's working. This thing rips. Hopefully it holds up. We'll see about the longevity, but it works.
nice penetration. Wow, nice fire, man. You brought some cookies, right? No. No cookies. No cookies? Mm. No Shelly cookies? No mm. Shelly cookies. No, there is a motive. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that was a good evening. Craig and I had a really good time. Now it's time to crawl into our sleep systems and go to bed. I'm going to take my boots and I'm going to put them in this stuff sack and then I'm going to put them in the bottom of my sleeping bag. No frozen boots in the morning. And as I take a boot off, I put a down booty on. This is one of my luxury items. I love these things in the winter. Down booties. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's it for tonight. I'm all nestled into my bag. It's a pretty awesome moon outside right now, and the beauty of your tarp is that I get to sit here and watch it and pass out. And it doesn't get much better than that. This is pretty good. So, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's pretty windy. It got really windy last night. Yeah. My tarp held up great. It's about 30 degrees right now. Right at 30 degrees. Other than waking up because of serious wind gusts, I slept really well. I love sleeping under a tarp. Just love it. The openness. Freedom. It's just, it's just nice. I like it. My sleeve for my tensor seems to work. I didn't get remotely cold at all last night. As a matter of fact, I had to open up my sleeping bag because I was getting pretty warm at one point last night. I wonder how Craig slept last night. It got windy, really windy. It's always nerve-wracking when it gets windy because you never know when a tree might break and come crashing down on you. When you're in a tarp and you can see those trees just swaying, moving. It's good stuff. That moon last night was awesome. What a great time. I was telling Craig last night that it's kind of funny that I put all that effort and energy and time into building a lean-to. And then I come out here and I hang out in the lean-to and pitch a tarp to sleep under. <laughs> it's just a good spot to hang out. I don't want to clutter it up with my sleeping gear. Besides, I don't like listening to people snore. I don't want people to listen to me snore. Can I say, I just really enjoy sleeping under a tarp. 
I need to get a Dyneema tarp. A Dyneema tarp that's made from the same company that backpack is made from would be nice. Yes. He'll top packs. Ben, talking to you. And I love sleeping under a tarp. Did I mention that already? I think I did. Tarps are cool. I always sleep late. Good in the woods. <laughs> See how I did that? I should get up now and stop rambling. Hung out last night, had a great time. It was awesome, just chit-chatted, relaxed, and caught up. We're gonna be going on a trip next month, so you'll be seeing them again. Thanks, had a man. Had a blast, man. Thank you for inviting me out here. You're welcome. Thank yeah, you for coming. Really cool spot. It's always good, uh, I've said it in the past, to see things for real versus on YouTube. It's different, right? It's different, and you can appreciate your efforts more. Yeah. 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 Thank you. This was a fun spot to hang out. He's a fun dude to hang out with. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.